Hi, hello, hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on this live stream. It's International Royals TV. Please thumbs up if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here. So today we will be continuing on with Prince Philip's life history and we are on session number three. If you haven't previously seen the other episodes, you'll find it on the community tab and in the playlist section and it's called Prince Philip's life history. So today we will be doing session number three and it's called Naval and Wartime Service in terms of Prince Philip's life history. And I'm reading from Source Wikipedia. So let's go. After leaving Gordonston in early 1939, Philip completed a term as a cadet at the Royal Naval College, Dartmouth. Then rep repri, repatriated rep repatriated sorry if i've mispronounced that <laughs> then repatriate repatriated to greece okay living with his mother in athens for a month in mid 1939 at the behest of king george the second of greece his first cousin he returned to Britain in September to resume training for the Royal Navy. He graduated from Dartmouth the next year as the best cadet in his course. Wow, that's amazing. During the Second World War, he continued to serve in the British forces, while two of his brothers-in-law, Prince Christoph of Hesse and Berthold, Margrave of Baden or Baden <laughs> fought on the opposing German side. Philip was appointed as a midshipman in January 1940. He spent four months on the battleship HMS Ramillies, I think, protecting convoys of the Australian Expe Expeditionary Force. <laughs> expeditionary or expeditionary force in the Indian Ocean followed by shorter postings on HMS Kent and on HM on HMS Kent on HMS Shropshire and in British Ceylon or Ceylon or Ceylon after the invasion of Greece by Italy in October 1940, he was transferred from the Indian Ocean to the battleship HMS Valiant in the Mediterranean Fleet. We are talking about Prince Philip's life history, so let's continue. Philip was commissioned as a sub-lieutenant on 1st of February 1941 after a series of courses at Portsmouth in which he gained the top grade in four out of five sections of the qualifying examination. Among other engagements, he was involved in the Battle of Crete, Crete or Crete, <laughs> and was mentioned in dispatches for his service during the Battle of Cape Matapan, in which he controlled the battleship's searchlights. He was also awarded the Greek War Cross. In June 1942, he was appointed to the destroyer HMS Wallace, which was involved in convoy escort tasks on the east coast of Britain, as well as the Allied invasion of Sicily. Promotion to lieutenant followed on 16th of July 1942. In October of the same year, aged 21, Philip became first lieutenant of HMS Wallace. He was one of the youngest first lieutenants in the Royal Navy during the invasion of Sicily in July 1943 as second in command of Wallace. He saved his ship from a night bomber attack. Wow, that's amazing. He 
devised a plan to launch a raft with smoke floats that successfully distracted the bombers. I am reading from Source Wikipedia, by the way, and this is Print Pin, Prince Philip's life history. So don't get alarmed. This is this all happened in the 1942s and 1943s. So I'm just reading from Wikipedia. So don't be alarmed. Okay, so let's continue. He devised a plan to launch a raft with smoke floats that successfully distracted the bombers, allowing the ship to slip away unnoticed. In 1944, he moved to the new destroyer HMS Welp, where he sought service with the British Pacific Fleet in the 27th destroyer flotilla. He was present in Tokyo Bay when the Japanese instrument of surrender was signed. Philip returned to the United Kingdom on the Welp in January 1946 and was posted as an instructor of HMS Royal Arthur, the Petty Officer's School in Corsham, Wiltshire. Wiltshire or Wiltshire? <laughs> I'm so bad at pronouncing things. Um just like to say thank you so much for your time thank you for tuning in thank you for listening that brings us to the end of session number three which was called naval and wartime and um, previously we did uh, session number two which discussed prince philip's early life and upbringing um early life and education and previous session to that was an introduction to Prince Philip's life history. Um, Prince Philip was Queen Elizabeth II's husband. I know both of them are late now, so it's quite nice to reminisce on their life. <laughs> so I've got a playlist. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I've got a playlist of Queen Elizabeth II's life history, Princess Anne's life history, Prince Edward's life history, and now we are on Prince Philip's life history. So these are all related to Queen Elizabeth II. Princess Anne was her, is her daughter. Prince Edward was her son, and Prince Philip is her husband. Was her husband? <laughs> yes, all the children are still alive and well, all four of them. So if you'd like to hear more about Queen Elizabeth II's children, you can find it in the playlist and on the community section. Um, community tab, I do apologise. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, sorry I couldn't read out your comments while I'm doing the reading, uh, just not to get distracted. But I do thank you so much for your time. Thank you all for being here. I will put up a poll question. So please could you answer the poll question before you go? And if you're just tuning in, please could you rewind the live stream to the beginning to hear the beginning of this session, which was session number three, which was called Naval and Wartime Service. So next session will be session number four, and that will be called Marriage. So we can hear about all about Prince Philip's marriage to Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, let me put up the poll question now. Thank you so much for your time.